Chappy TV. Chat shit, get banged. Obviously, the rumours today are Daniel Sturridge is potentially coming to Leicester City. Obviously, playing under Rent, uh, Brendan Rodgers. Now, back in 2014, photo of you there with Brendan Rodgers and Sturridge. They have a decent relationship. And as you guys know, at the minute, D Daniel Sturridge just doesn't play games. You know, his stats speak volumes over the last couple of seasons now. Uh, if you go back to in 2013-14, in 29 appearances, he got 21 goals, right, under Brendan Rodgers. But as of recently, he's... He's just not scoring goals. His appearances are late substitutions. Now, he did get that crazy goal of the month uh, during this season, which we'll talk about in a second. But at the minute, he's on two goals, right? In in 2018-19 season, he's on two goals in 18 appearances. Let that sink in. Exactly. Now, would you take this guy on a free? The question really is how much is this guy going to cost in wages? Because I don't want to see some of the youngsters in our side and some of the more ambitious players just completely get basically undercut by Daniel Sturridge and his wage demands. Because that's what's going to happen. He's going to come in, he's going to demand something stupid like 150, maybe 200 grand a week or more, maybe more. And how much game time is he actually going to get? That's the thing, because Jamie Vardy is obviously our, he's our staple, uh, you know, starting number nine. And Daniel Sturridge is not going to be that player to take Vardy's, you know, take Vardy's spot. He just isn't. He's going to be one of those players like how Liverpool have been using him for the last few seasons now, which is just subbing him on because of his injuries. The guy's injury prone. That's the other problem. You take this guy on and free, you spend 200 or more grand a week and he gets injured. Because that's what he does. He's no, he's known as sick note storage for a reason. You know, I don't want him in. Uh, he's experienced. Maybe can bring that into some of the youth players. Granted, but not for me. It's just, it's just an, it's not an option for me. We need to go for someone. I'm not saying we should go for Rondon, but we need, we need a plan B. We need someone with aerial threat. Jamie Vardy's just not an aerial threat. He can head ball, but he's not that. He's not strong in the air. He's not demanding in the air, and he's he, he don't create that style of play, crossing over the top. You know, and we've got players to do that. Harvey Barnes, Michael Bryan. These these guys whip balls in the box, and we've got no one to head the ball in up top. We've got Harry Maguire at the back. But like I just said, he might go to Man United yet. Who knows? Um, now, moving on to the to the next bit. Yuri Tillemans, like I said. At the minute, Monaco wants £70 million for Yuri Tillemans. Spurs have been linked with him. Liverpool and Man United also want to take a swoop on this, this kid. He's 21. I, I, why would you go anywhere else at the minute at 21 years old? Are you going to jeopardise your playtime with some of the big boys and sit on the bench and not develop as a player? Because you would stay at Leicester City right now with Brendan Rodgers in charge, pushing to break the top six mould. That is, breaking the habit of the top six. I'm sick of the same top six. Something's got to give. Why not give it a go this season? Leicester City should really give it a good go this season for me. Um, it's exciting times under Brendan Rodgers. It was, it, was, it was a brave move by the club. In fact, you know, we was under Puel, Claude Puel. Uh, sadly, Mr. Vajai passed away during October last year. Claude Puel guided us through that. Thank you for doing that for us. Bringing in some youth as well, you know, giving Hamza Chowdhury a run. But it was very brave of the of the owner now, Kun Top, to just go, no more. See you later. We're getting Rodgers in. You know, raided him from Celtic and... It's just, it could be an ambitious move by the club to sign Yuri Tillemans and show the world that we mean business. We are we are in a position now where we've got a training ground facility coming in. There's a hundred million pound training facility. It's a state of the art stuff. Check the video out in the description on that. That's, that's actually uh, at the minute live on Facebook as well on 100% LCFC. But that's another page we'll talk about another time.
But check my YouTube out, and you'll see the dis you'll see it in the description. The link of the video, man, it's insane. Um, what's coming in? James Madison linked to Manchester United. They want to take him. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is interested in him. And uh, why wouldn't you be, you know? Uh, he's a phenomenal player. Why the hell hasn't he been picked for the England squad tonight? Why is he not gone? You know, Gareth Southgate's excuses were that he's, he's part of the under-21 squad. We don't want to raid any more players. But... For me, he's one of the best midfielders right now in the Prem. Everyone that I talk to in the content around YouTube and making podcasts and stuff, every time we speak about Leicester to an away perspective, they want to talk about James Madison and what a quality player he is. He's an absolute baller. This kid, is, is, uh, I don't get it. I don't know why he didn't get picked for the England squad. I really don't. Especially when Gareth Southgate last season said he would pick players on form. This guy, seven assists, seven goals, and <laughs> some of them were free kicks as well. And if you've watched them, if you've not seen them, make sure you YouTube them right now because they are some sick-ass goals, let me tell you. And with Manchester United wanting him, <sighs> I don't know. They need a complete revamp, Manchester United. Their, their players and stuff, they've got some deadwood to get rid of before they can really think about going forwards. I think they're three seasons behind the, t the big boys of Man City and Liverpool myself. You know, they're a massive side, biggest side in Europe for me, still Manchester United. But they are behind right now. So... <sighs> Don't go to Manchester United, mate. Stay here. Stay here, Madders. You've already done one season in the Prem with Leicester. Let's do another one. Let's break the mould, break the habit, break top six. Break top six, I think. That is the that is the ambition this season uh, for Leicester City Football Club. Leicester City have not done anything so far in this transfer window. It's getting slightly worried, but we're known to leave things to the last minute. If you remember the Adrian Silva deal, we was 14 seconds late in signing him and he wasn't actually able to play until the January uh, window opened up which was ridiculous but that's the Leicester way I don't really understand why or how that can happen but it just did now the window is obviously open we have been linked with Tillemans you know for quite a while now with obviously him being here already on loan it just makes sense for him to sign on the dotted line and play for Leicester City Football Club. He's getting on with, he's getting on well with the players. He's getting on well with the staff. You see the tunnel cams. You see his ch chitting and chatting, and he, he, he just looks comfortable where he is right now. But that is at the minute because he's playing with James Madison. He's playing with Chilwell. He's playing with Harry Maguire. These three players, by the way, are all linked out of Leicester City. Now. I don't know if you've seen that or not lately, but obviously James Madison linked to Man United yesterday. I just, I don't know what's going on at Leicester. I don't know if these are just rumours and, you know, news that circulates around to get clicks and stuff. But I'm worried that if those players do leave, that we won't get to sign Tillemans because I don't think he'll want to stay. I think it's going to be based on who stays for him to stay. It's as simple as that. Now, a little bit of other side news. Hazard apparently signed for Real Madrid uh, for 80 in, in the region of 80 mil. That's just broke, actually, uh, by Sky Sources. So check that out. You'll have to have a look on your phones and that right now. Um, also, I'm featured now in the Playmaker uh, FC team, where, which we cover videos and stuff every day. There's a video put out by the Playmaker channel, so check those out. Uh, I'll put them in the description as well. That's Playmaker FC. And next week, I'll be on Sky Sports News uh, on the re match reports of the... <laughs> it's going to be a good one, this is. The Fixtures Report, sorry. It's the Fixtures Show Report, which is out on Thursday next week. I shall be on there with quite a few different YouTubers and faces that you guys know, like uh, Mark, Mark Goldbridge and a few other guys as well. It's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun. So cheers, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like. Follow me at Lee underscore Chappy on Twitter. And uh, and hit the like button on the videos. And help me grow. I'm hitting 2K before the season starts. That is the goal. I want to hit 2K before the season starts. Going to try and do a video at least once or twice a week during this transfer window. And 
as the season starts. I'm going to be doing some vlogs uh, and uh, and some match reports and some other bits and bobs with other fans uh, of other teams from around the football community. So keep checking on the uh, on the channel. Hope you guys like the layout as well as we go. Hit the subscribe. Follow me at Leon Score Chappie. Cheers, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.